tonight on First Time Buyers Club. Everybody deserves a place to call home. All of the work that we're gonna do, I believe is gonna pay off. We really would be taking a big risk. This is so nice. I literally wanna put an offer on this house right now. This is kind of like my dream home. It is. Welcome to the Sunshine State. What more can you ask for? I'm Amina Stevens, a dedicated realtor in Tampa Bay. Honestly, this is my favorite part. I do have some information I'm gonna go over with you today. As a former educator, I've made it my mission to help first-time home buyers navigate the challenging path to home ownership. I went through a hardship, I'm not gonna lie to you. It doesn't matter if you don't have the biggest budget or the best credit score. Let's make it happen, yeah. okay? Let's do it. There's a path for everyone to become a homeowner. I can't wait, can we just go in? Yes, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Oh, wow. I love it. From negotiating deals to uncovering hidden gems in the market, I'm more than just a realtor. Sprinkle a little magic. I'm your trusted partner, <laughs> confidant, and your guide. You can literally change your entire community, which ultimately changes the world. To the First Time Buyers Club. I'm on my way to meet my new client, Sika, on Sunday. And unlike most of my first time home buyers, they absolutely love their apartment at Hyde Park. Unfortunately, in about a month, their rent is gonna go up by $400. So they figured if they're gonna pay a mortgage, it might as well be their own. Hey! hey. Oh my God! Hey guys, to meet you. Great to see you too. Hello. We're finally here. We are finally here. We met in college. Yes. We were friends. I think. We're still friends. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so we've been together for almost three years. It'll, yes. it'll be this it'll November. It'll be three years in this November. Yeah. Honestly, this is my favorite part because this is going to set the foundation for everything that we're about to go do. I do have some information I'm going to go over with you today. Okay, yes, let's see. Right yes, it. Let's I love it. it. Yes. First, tell me why you want to buy in the first place. We don't want to pay rent. We want our monetary value, our investments to go into something that we own. The dream is a duplex slash being able to kind of have that passive income while we're investing in this new thing. What has been your journey leading up to this point? Unsure, maybe uninformed, a lot of uns. It's kind of hard to see yourself doing something where people are like, you need to save and you need to have this, this and down this, how cost. And how many down and, and yeah, and, and oh, taxes, and you just kind of get scared. Yeah. Like, before we go out and we actually search for homes, we want to have a budget. I know you guys have applied with a few lenders and yes. you've gotten approved for about $350,000. So how does that feel? We didn't think we'd be approved for so much. Yeah. When we saw that pre-approval, I was like, are you sure this yeah, is right? Yeah, I was like, do they trust us with that amount of money? Is that what that means? So I did want to talk a little bit about some potential programs. My advice to first-time home buyers is to take advantage of the various assistance programs available to them. These programs can help you get into a home easier, faster, and more affordably. So the only consideration is that most of these programs require at least a 640 credit score to qualify, and Tika and Sunday are just shy of that mark. If we make some improvements, we might be able to get you to that 640. Yes. And the reason why I was shooting for that, the program is no money down, no mortgage insurance, and the rates are in the low 6%. So I see your credit score is great until a couple of years ago. What happened with that? It's me. I'm the problem. Um, what are these debts, by the way? So I went through a hardship. I'm not going to lie to you. I got into a car accident. Unfortunately, the situation turned negative with the police officer involved. And I was wrongfully arrested. I wish it didn't happen, because that is really where my credit score took a turn for the worst. Getting a lawyer, um, having things expunged, having things going through that trial, it took a lot, so that had a negative effect on, personally, my credit. It was wrongful, we're here now, and we're trying to get where we should have been years ago. That's why we don't just look at the credit score, it's the credit history. But beyond just looking at the numbers, like there's usually a story. Everybody deserves a place to call home. Everybody deserves a place to lay their head and to build a family and to, you know, take a part of building wealth and, and, and continue to go along that human dream. You just need to pay 2000 so we need to pay it. <laughs> you can't wait. How much money is, is going into this transaction? 9000 So we have $9,000 to work with. So don't look at the 9000 like the 9000 is going. I have to put it down. I need to deploy the 2000 right? OK. So that we're done with that. And then therefore, oh, wait, we got into this program. We got into uh, this loan. Now we can get into this house. OK. Right? So a lot of my buyers hoard their money for a down payment. But they don't understand that sometimes the most financially savvy move is to pay off old debts to be able to qualify for more. So if you have a borderline credit score, 
Lowering your debt can raise your credit score in order to qualify for additional assistance. So ultimately spending a little bit of money now could potentially save you a lot of money in the future. Here's the thing, if we want to go with this program, we should be at around 400. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah, so from 350 to 400. That's, that's a, a big, big jump and that's if... a different kind of house, baby. <laughs> now you understand, okay? That's a different kind of house. We're talking about a different neighborhood. We're talking about a different house. Yeah. Describe for me what it is that we're looking for. One of the things that I feel like I was bending on was whether or not I could see the TV from the kitchen. And I feel like now that I have $400,000. I don't think I'm gonna be able to work with you. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, no. I actually, no, no, no. I positioned my house for that. And I have an island, and guess what? Now my requirement is I need to be able to cook from the island and look at the TV. See? You don't know until you know. You don't know. I definitely feel like I have more needs. Like, all Tika wants is a garage. I need sunlight. I need daylight. I need that thing coming in through, because I'm like a plant. I see single family home, duplex even maybe. Just something that, you know, could be forever, but also could be a forever investment. Yes. But know that investment properties in Florida and your budget are going to be really hard to come by. I'll see what I can find, but don't get your hopes up. So I personally would love to live in Ybor. Ybor City is a neighborhood in Tampa that's just outside downtown. It's historic, but still very trendy and diverse, with all sorts of shops, restaurants, and nightlife to explore. Like, there's literally a farmer's market that happens right around the corner. Every I can just Saturday. picture myself, like, moseying along my little yoga pants to the farmer's market, maybe having a drink, who knows? It sounds like you like walkable, you like somewhere where there's a pulse, there's things going on. Yeah. Um, you want some culture. So, it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. Yes. Okay. Yes. I know that all of the work that we're going to do, I believe, is going to pay off to help us get that home and, and that vision that you're looking for. Absolutely. So, me too. We're okay. willing to put in the work if it's going to get us what we want. Yeah. If okay. you're working with us, we know we're in a good spot. So I'm taking Tika Sunday to see an off-market duplex. This is exactly what they requested. And with the budget they initially gave me, I thought it was near impossible. However, the impossible has potentially happened. The only catch is that it is tenant occupied on both sides. So I'm only able to show them the lot in the neighborhood. It's not an Ebor, but something like this doesn't come around often. But hopefully that's enough to get them to decide whether or not this might be an option for them. Hey guys! What's up? So I know I said I had a little something on my sleeve. Okay. And you like the idea of a duplex where you can live on one side and rent out the other, so. Ah, you said you, said you didn't want to get your hopes up. No, but then she was like, but I'm gonna see what I can do. We live in Florida and multifamily properties are prime real estate. Nobody wants to sell them. Listen, honestly, almost 100 grand more than what you're approved for. However, okay. we may be able to make this one work. Bad news is that we can't go inside. We still have tenants occupying the property. Mm -hmm. So until that happens, it's very difficult for us to have access to the property. Okay. But the good news is I'm giving you an exclusive preview and I have pictures. Okay. 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 We'll take it. We'll take All right, it. awesome. So what you might notice on the outside is that it's not your traditional duplex, okay? We have actually a, a home that was split into two and converted to be a two-unit property. Wow, so in the front, you have a three-bedroom, one bath that opens up to its own horseshoe driveway. Oh, okay. And then you have the back, that has a beautiful backyard, and it's actually a one-one, but it's spacious in the sense that the downstairs has an entire like a living area, mm -hmm. and upstairs mm -hmm. has the bedroom. Okay. So, and that bedroom could even be possibly converted into two, because it's a pretty decent sized bedroom. Okay. I love, I love that. Wow. I'm loving what I see. Mm -hmm. This is entertaining. What do you imagine doing here? Not cutting the grass, Oof. I'll tell you that. Love the artificial turf. You know, it was nice to see that there's not a lot of maintenance. The amazing thing about this property is that, you know, you can utilize your FHA loan okay. to get this property. And even though it's going to be listed more than what Oof. you're approved for, yeah. but I think that the rental income can offset the mortgage payment so that you're able to qualify. So many times buyers are able to qualify for a higher purchase price with a multifamily property versus a single family home. That is because there are some programs that allow buyers to offset the higher mortgage payment with the potential rental income for the property. So essentially, the rent that's paid goes towards your mortgage and an additional amount can be added to the top of your loan. What do you think, based off of like what you've seen and you know the location, the area? I definitely feel like it could be pending the inside, a contender. I think there's a lot of variables, a lot of unknowns, a lot of what ifs. We don't know what the inside looks like for half of it. We don't know um, when they're gonna put it actually on the market. market. 
Are there going to be other obstacles along the way? Like, could I rather take the easiest path there? We really would be taking a big risk, I think. At the end of the day, I think a big part of the short-term rental is the numbers, um, regardless of how the inside looks. Even though they seemed a little lukewarm on the tour, I got a call after from Tika and Sunday that they wanted to move forward on the duplex. However, as I prepared to make an offer, I found something that they definitely need to know about. Hey. Hey, is Tika there with you? Yep. And so I was looking up the property on the, the public record, and unfortunately, I have some bad news. I saw that it's still listed as a single family home. So I guess it doesn't appear that they ever officially turned it into a multifamily property. We need it technically to be listed as multifamily to be able to use, you know, the multifamily guidelines to qualify you for the loan. Oh, so that's not an option anymore, right? We're gonna have to start looking at more single family homes. And I, I really am confident that we're gonna be able to find something you love. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess you gotta get back on these streets and find a home. Alrighty, keep your head up. Bye. Bye. So, we meet disappointment. <laughs> Tika has no words. Uh, she's that disappointed. So, you know me, silver lining. We could have found this out at closing, which would have sucked even more than it sucks now. So, we are grateful. Tika wants to quit. So unfortunately, the duplex didn't work out for Tika and Sunday, and I don't think there are gonna be any other multifamily properties that fit their budget. So now the focus is on single family homes, and we're gonna start with my new listing. I'm really excited to see what Tika and Sunday think about the home, and even though it's about 10 to 15 minutes from their ideal area, I'm thinking that it really could be the one because of all the features and the amazing backyard that it has. I'm excited. Me too. I wasn't too far from the house. It wasn't. There's a driveway. There it is. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to my new listing. It is a three bedroom, two bath, just about 1,200 square feet. But I feel like the layout does not feel like its size. I feel like it's going to feel a lot bigger to you. And I think it might really meet your needs. So take a look around, and then we'll be back in here. OK, sounds right. good. I'm digging this. Is this enough counter space for you? Honestly, it is. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> and look, we could like talk to people. Yeah, while we like host. That's, yeah. It's like, oh, it's like open kitchen. This is the main bedroom. Yes. It's not that big. But I love this natural light coming in from Oof, here. I know. Get out here. O-M-G. This I, is massive. It's very big, quite big. You got to get a lawnmower, baby. I do, we do. So I'm dying to know, like, what are your thoughts about the house in general? Honestly, not quite the dream home, but definitely pretty close. I can see this as our potential home. So no doubt they were disappointed that the duplex didn't work out. But this home is exactly what they needed to be excited about switching gears to single family homes. Now we're back on the hunt. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's grab your stuff right. and um, let's go to the next one. Yeah, I'm grabbing the wine yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> so Tika and Sunday love Ybor. They love the culture, they love the community, but it's a hot area and everyone wants to live here. So the houses are more expensive. So now I'm going to really figure out if location is the most important thing on their list. You did it. You did it. This is lovely. Oh my goodness. As soon as we pulled up, I was like, this is kind of like my dream home. It is. Like, I can really see myself here. Well, let's see what you think about it. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah. There's your island. I see it. So, this one is a three bedroom, two bath, and it's about 1,100 square feet. Well, let's see the rest of this bad boy. Okay, a separate laundry room that goes outside. And a sink. <gasps> you know I love to hand wash things. I know. Wow. Is this the door that leads to the garage that you also want? I think it is. And, see, uh, let's check it out. 
This is great. This is great. It goes from the laundry room to a bathroom. Yes. That uh, also looks kind of remodeled. Okay. Yes. I, like the I love the fixtures. Right? Let's check out the main bedroom. It's at the end of the hall, which, which I, I love. love. Uh, Look at the this. Put me in here. I can live in this closet. Great. Oh my god. You can have your own side. I can have mine. I literally want to put an offer on this house right now. Okay, yes, I love this little staircase. Me too. The yard so I, is smaller. It is. Like substantially. Very much so. I think this, once I saw the backyard space now, I'm like, you know. You weren't as excited? Yes. I heard a little bit of your excitement, so just let it all out, lay it on me, what do you think? I don't think I have felt as strongly about the other homes as I feel about this one, but I think it's because it checks all of my boxes. What is your gut telling you? <sighs> my gut is telling me to think about it. I feel like because her gut is not completely sure on it, no. I definitely want to make sure we're on the same page. I'm not going to live in this house by myself. I think you guys need a few days to deliberate, and then we can kind of reconvene, yes. figure out how you're feeling and, and where you want to go from there. Yes. Okay, team, one, two, three, break! <laughs> Ebor City Dream Home, baby! Woo! She came through for you. What? Yeah, I know what. Location, Didn't location, it? location! Don't forget it. I would have liked it to be a little bit bigger, but... It, it was nice. It was it was manageable. But uh, my gut just wasn't in it. It just wasn't in it. You know, we got an... betrayal. <laughs> um, I just think we had two guts. One gut was feeling like a yes, and one gut was feeling like a maybe. Yeah. So that last home made it clear to me that location is at the top of the party list for Tika and Sunday. They love Ebor and they really want to live there. So I found another beautiful listing at an even lower price point for them to consider. Okay, but this little green patch in the front. I like the colors. I yeah. Like the colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I like the trees. Yeah, I'm digging yes. this. So we're back in Ebor, yes. and I know you wanted to explore some more options out here. And even though there's very limited inventory, I came across this house a couple days ago, and it is gorgeous inside. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Okay. And it's only 900 square feet, but it's very cozy. It was built in 1962. Ooh. But wow. you're going to see that they've done some state-of-the-art renovations, and I really think it's going to feel newer than it actually is. Anyway, after you, as usual. All right, let's see. OK. Wow, you know what? It's cute. It's cozy. Pause. Pause. Did you realize that it has? Is it a wine thing? Come on, now. This is so nice! Okay, I see where they saved the space. They saved space in the rooms. Yeah, we but it's like... We will not deny that. Oh, oh, watch your step! Mm, she's such a gentle lady. Wow, okay. Well, I went to bring you outside because I feel like this is a whole different element to the home, right? You have the entertainment piece that you've been really looking for. Yes. When you said 900 square feet, I didn't know how that was going to look inside. Mm. Somehow the space wasn't distributed proportionately. And I can tell in the rooms how small it is. I'm not going to lie. Yes. But I think having the furniture helps. Now, if that other house goes under contract while we're standing here in this moment, is this house still on the radar? Yes. Yes. OK. Definitely second best. Somebody loves you. Somebody moving on from the duplex, Tika and Sunday got to see three great single family homes. Two of them were in Ebor, and one was only a few miles away. Now they want to meet up, so it sounds like they've made a decision. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, guys. Hey. You're right on time. Right on time. We have some news for you. OK. We did a lot of talking. We want to go with the Ebor Garage House. What? Yes. yes. Tell me how you came to that decision. We just wanted to make sure we did what was best for us. And the things that are just gonna make our life easier. How do we put in an offer? Let's talk, like, how do we make that happen? Let's go. All right. So first step 
is that I'm going to talk to the agent. All right. I'm also going to run the comps to figure out is the house in line with the market value. Those comps. So we're going to take that information, and I'm going to come back to you, see what's affordable to you, okay. see how strong you want to come in, and put that offer in. OK, seems like a lot of factors, but let's do it. One of those times where we put in an offer and it didn't work out. But that's why they have me to help them navigate these real estate streets. We are not giving up. So even though Tika and Sunday's journey was filled with a lot of roadblocks, hope is still alive. Tika and Sunday now know that they're open to a single family home and they definitely want to be an Ebor. I'm gonna keep an eye on the market while they continue to work on their finances to put them in the perfect position to win the next offer on their very first home.